All right, guys, here we go. We're in the beautiful state of Michigan. Um, I don't know if this is still considered Detroit, outside of Detroit, Detroit Metro, I don't know. Um, but I'm about to hit my first coin shop here in the state of Michigan ever in my life. And I was told this one, it's called Coins and Stamp, or Coins and Stamps is a great one. So let's go in there, let's see if they let me film, and let's see what kind of treasures I can find. All right, pass on a thrift store here. Oh yeah, that looks epic. One stacker on a journey to find silver. International stacker. All right, guys, I just got an amazing deal. Spent way more than I was planning to. I'm still planning to hit a few other LCSs while I'm up here, but boy, was that deal, and the spoiler alert, all this at Melton Spot, was that awesome. So we're going to go and take a look at what I got, and you will be truly amazed. Let's go. And one of the reasons I literally couldn't film inside is because the area right across the street, that's Detroit, that's not Detroit. That's Detroit, that's not. Wow, let's go. All right, I'm back, and that might have left a mark. And again, that was coins and stamps in Detroit. I'm no longer in Detroit. Man, I procrastinated on making this video because um, <laughs> I had to come home and go through it. So what had happened is this is evidently like one of the most robbed LCSs, which for new folks stands for local coin shop, um, at least in the state, if not the country, I don't know. So I went in there and asked if I could film, and he was nice, but he didn't want me to uh because he had been robbed but i'm pretty sure the reason he had been robbed is he said well i put some stuff online not on a uh, yelp maybe it was on yelp i don't know on pictures of stuff and he's like and then they came in and they robbed us and evidently they've been robbed several times so he didn't want me to but in all honesty um i don't think the type of people that are gonna rob are gonna be watching this videos but putting stuff on yelp and that makes sense why people might see it and think it's an easy target so anyways all this I got a spot price. I forget what spot price was um, at the time, but I'll put it up on the screen. How do I know? Because I can look at the date the video was filmed, which is maybe a month or two ago. So let's go through some of these coins um, that I got. But first, if you're interested in preparing for what's called CBRN, chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear events, and you think these masks are super cool, um, I put out a video a day or two ago on that topic that the algorithm is smacking down, it's doing horrible. So I'd really appreciate um, if you could go show that video some love. It's one of the last few videos I did. If you're watching this after the fact, just look through the thumbnail with the guy wearing the mask. And that guy is me. So this is all 0.835 silver. So that means 83.5% um, silver. So for instance, 925 silver, sterling silver means it's 92.5% silver. So here's some samples of some 83.5% silver. So we got some Swiss franc action. Ooh. There's 500 liras of some sort. Republica. Oh, Italia. Yeah, I think I remember seeing this being like, oh, these might be my first coins from Italy. Look at this one. And here's the thing, guys. So this is my trick at local coin shops. You can go in there and ask for the foreign silver. Oh, is this Greek? This is Greek. Look at the writing. Epic. First Greek. But you can go in and um, ask and say, hey, if you have any foreign silver you're going to send in to get refined or melted, uh, <clears throat> I'll buy it from you for spot price. And to 95% of the time, they'll do it. What is this, Latvia? Um, and, dude, you could find some real treasures. Like, I found coins going through it like this that are worth 5, 10, 50, 100 times their cost online. And... You know, I, I get the LCS, they do so much volume, it's not worth it for them to really look at every coin and search it. But for stackers, you and I, you'll have plenty of time to see what you have, um, go through it. I'm just going to go through this kind of quick, try to find some new ones. And you might end up with some real gems. If you guys remember, I bought a bunch of Swiss francs deep in the West African market. Look at that. Um, so make sure you go check that video out. That was the most sketched I've ever been. Okay, so this is a bunch of the going to be a bunch of Greek and 
French coins, evidently. So we'll put those there. And let's go over here to 30%. What do you guys think? Do you guys think I'm stacking a bunch of silver no one ever want? Or you think I found the hidden gems? Like, there's always a deal to be had, and I always find the deals. What is this? Oh, is that Corona? Not the virus. Oh, Estados Unidos Mexicanos. This is Mexican. Oh, so that might be 25 of their... What is their... I know the money's called pesos, but what's CR? That must be a peso broken down. I don't know. Um, I forget how much I paid for all this. I want to say it was like around 600 bucks of silver at the time. Uh, this is 75% silver, and you guys, I love this. Hit that like button if you love the Filipino silver. This is from the Philippines. And this was actually minted by the United States for the Philippines. So, like, United States of America, 1944, that's World War II era. And on the back, <clears throat> 20 centavos, Filipinas. Look at that one. That's a proof or someone claimed it. Probably someone claimed it. Okay, so this is all Filipino silver, which I just, I really like Filipino silver. I really do. I pop on it whenever I can. So that's cool. More to add to that stack. 64%. Let's see what we got here. Shilling? Oh, shilling. 10 shilling. Oh, I've seen this before. Republic. Hold up. I can't see it, but I recognize it. Let's keep going. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is Portuguese. I think it says Portuguesa. Kind of like hamburguesa. Oh, this is thick. Twenty five cents nineteen forties. Netherlands. Netherlanden. It's the Netherlands. Another Portuguese you could tell by the epic ship. Portuguese. And these Portuguese coins, anytime I've seen them, they're always very worn. It's interesting. 10 cents, 1935, guys. Netherlands. So that's very cool. I like Netherlands silver. This is 40 percenters. And there's some very cool stuff here. Look at this. Mamma mia. These are Balboas from De Panama. Look at that, 72. These are some of my all-time favorite world coins that I get um, in LCSs. Aren't these epic? That's like a conquistador. Con conquistador? Conquistador. Conquistador? Uh, Svergis. I learned this from coin collecting, and Svergi is not Finland. I think it's Swedish. I think Svergi is Swedish. Or something up in those areas. Let's see what this is. Oh, you know what's interesting? I think Ora, or Oro, Ora. And Spanish means silver. So maybe something similar in Swedish. Who's Swedish watching? Svergi. Oh, what is this? 1946. Oh, that's a Corona. Put your masks on, guys. Put on your N95 masks. Or, woo, one of those babies. More Sphergi. I think this is all going to be Sphergi. Ferengi? Any Star Trek fans in the house? Sphergi. So it's all Sphergi. Okay. Well, that's Coolio. 72%. Oh, okay. Some of this looks epic. Wow. Wee wee woo woo. So I love the old Mexican silver because it literally says the percentage, 0.720. Like, it makes it so easy. 
But for some reason, I'm not into the Olympic coins. I don't know. I just don't... I don't like the Olympic versions. Am I a hater? Am I being ridiculous? Just tell me. Oh, there's never Netherlands in 72%. And there was also mixed in the other one. So that might actually not be... One of them may be wrong. I think Netherlands silver is higher content. Maybe some years are more than others. Okay, these are all Netherlands. You guys, I'm not going to lie. When I went to the Netherlands, I saw the possible future Mrs. IS like 30 times. Most of the time she was on a bicycle trying to run me over. That might be about right, I guess, right? <laughs> And if you're watching, you made it this far, please comment, please like, please subscribe. It really helps my videos a ton. Um, that's the only thing that gets your videos out to more people. So if people do not interact, and all your blood, sweat, and tears, doesn't matter. Oh, this is cool. I've got a few of these before. Indy. Um, oh, so this is the Netherlands. Is it the East Dutch Indies? Back in the day when they had, um, um, when they ruled over it, I guess. What is the word I'm thinking of? Not subjugated. Colonized. So look, this is a, like an Arabic script. From the East Dutch Indies or the West Dutch Indies, something like this. Netherlands, very that's very cool. I'm not saying it's cool to subjugate people, but I mean the historical part of it is very cool. You know, you guys, we live in a world with such like soft people, and people get triggered over dumb stuff. It was not that long ago in human history that's a Mexican coin. Um, where countries would literally roll in, take over other countries, enslave everybody, take everything. Like, we're spoiled in this day and age. Not that long ago, the life was brutal, and your life and entire family could be, like, just murdered. Like, it's crazy stuff. So, a bunch of the East or West Dutch Indies, correct me in the comments below, coins. I only had one before, so that's cool. It, that one always stuck out to me because the Arabic type script on there, although it's not legit Arabic. Uh, there's a couple languages that use like Arabic script, like Farsi, but if you, I speak and read Arabic, but I have no clue what far, about Farsi. So this is going to be 999 silver, so these are just some like random silver rounds. I thought once I start pouring silver, I can melt them down. Oh, and these aren't 999. I just threw them in that bag because I had these. I pulled these out of another bag of German silver. Uh, I thought these were cool. Five Deutschmarks. 1951. Isn't that cool? And I think the reason I put them in the 999 bag is because there are none of these percentages. I don't want to mix them up. So what do you guys think? Was this a total win? Like... First off, did you even know you could do this at LCSs? This is my hidden secret, and I've shared it with all of you multiple times. Two, is this stuff not a steal at spot? Like, I guarantee you these coins on eBay, you could sell for way more than spot. Probably a lot of this stuff. So, one, let me know if you even knew about this. Two, let me know if, if you didn't, if you're going to start doing it. Three, did you know, and you're doing it. And four, did you know... And, but you aren't doing it, or you just found out, but you don't want it. Like, very interested, but Silver Ant Spot is a winner every time, especially with this much history behind it. And to me, like, ultimately, we stack silver to eventually flip it and sell it, right? Whether it's me or my children. Mrs. IS, if you're watching, please contact me at internationaltechergmail.com. Um, you know, that's the whole point. So to me, like a diversified stack, like constitutional, you got 999, you got bullion, you've got government stuff, I've got port silver, blah, blah, blah. Having world silver to me is a no brainer and it's a ton of history. Like if only these coins could speak, these coins have probably been used in crime, probably in war, probably to bribe people, 
probably to rule empires. Like, what this stuff could have been used for is crazy. And here's the crazy thing. This coin here could have silver from Roman times. You could have had silver coins from back then get melted down, turned into jewelry, which got melted down and turned into the blah, blah, blah. Literally, a Roman emperor could have held this in his hand. Joan of Arc could have had... Okay, I'm going a bit down the rabbit hole, but that's my point. It's very cool to think about. Very, very, very cool history. And I want to know what all of you think. So thanks for watching. I ran this video a little bit long, but I thought it was epic. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry for procrastinating on it. I've got a lot of cool videos coming out soon, and I've been hitting it hard in 2022 because I'm trying to get the algorithm to like me again. And how can you help me? Hit the like, leave a comment, share the video. And if you enjoy my videos, go check out a playlist. I think you'll enjoy it. And I guess I'll say, catch you on the next one. Woo! One stacker.